Hey everyone, how you doing? Um, so it is the late night paint pouring time and um, I hope everyone is doing great. But I'd like to sh show you how my cow turned out from the last time that I was on here live last week. And um, this is, uh, if you remember, we were talking about how this cow came about. And this is Rum Chata. Um, I hope you can see this well. I'm doing the best I can. I'm not used to doing live videos or anything like that. And I'm not that tech savvy. But we'll make it work, right? Um, I really like this cow, I think. And it took me a little while to get the coloring and stuff like that right that I wanted to do. And some of it was like too much um, too much in the water area. It was like too dark and it was overpowering it. But uh, I think that I'm going to have this cow up on my page for sale not too long from now and um last live i promised that i would tell you how i got started with oil painting so i'm going to do that really quickly before we begin with the paint pour tutorial and um so what happened was i guess i was in my early 20s maybe like 19 or something like that i don't know but I was still living at my parents' house, and um, my room was down in the basement. So it was just, um, you know how you have those times in your life when you just feel like everything is closing in, you're getting claustrophobic, and it's not really like you have necessarily too much stuff. It's just uh, maybe it's the head space. You know, you're thinking, and um, it's like you're entering a new place in your life and you have to just clean house. So um, I was in that place and I was going through the basement and thinking about what I can get rid of, what I should keep. And as I was going across all that stuff, I saw um, oil paints and I never really fooled around with painting except for what I was forced to do <laughs> in high school when they made you do, you know, your class. Um, and so I just kind of, you know, I had like that, you know, like you had a knowing inside of you, you have that knowing. Well, now I learned that that knowing for me is, you know, the Holy Spirit, but you know, he's inside of us. So he kind of gives us, you know, whether it's tingles or it's goosebumps or it's just a fluttering or some, some sort of excitement. And, um, I said, you know, I either got to keep these oil paints or I got to get rid of them. And my uncle gave them to me. And my uncle, he's, um, you know, he's inspirational to me. He's very artistic. And um, and when I went to enter into college to, you know, pick my major in art um, at UMBC, you have to submit a portfolio and um, for their art program. And so I did that. And they didn't let me in. <laughs> they didn't think I was very good at art, I guess. So they did, they denied my entrance into the art program. and um, But he helped me work on some stuff to learn Photoshop because they asked you to do all this stuff that I had never done before, like take photographs and do Photoshop and work on the computer. And, and it was like way out of my realm. So anyway, um, I kept the oil paints and I decided to just mess around with them. And so I it just kind of made me come alive when I when I did that and that's how that style that you saw on the cow came about is it's originally um began when I had no idea what I was doing with oil paints I didn't know how to mix them I didn't you know it's not like now where we can look everything up on the computer um so I just kind of just did my thing and I didn't worry about whether I was doing it right or doing it wrong and and I think that I kind of found my oil paint style. And so, um, you know, I think the point, one of the points of this is no matter what you're doing, you know, if we're going to paint pours tonight, just go with it. Don't be afraid of just saying, oh, there's a certain way I have to do this and a certain way I have to do that because that just gets in the way of your creative flow. So um, just just try it out, see what happens. So anyway... Um, here we go. I'm going to set this up. Hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm doing. 
and we're gonna do a paint pour. So the next time that we're on here, um, if I do a paint pour, maybe you'll be able to do it with me. I put supplies for paint pours and stuff on my Facebook page, on my um, website, victoriousartworks.com, victorious, like I like victory. Um, and then there's like a, there's a resources page, my favorite thing. So check that out. All right, here we go. And I'm also going to see if I can find the feed in case you want to talk to me while we're doing this on my computer. If you want to shout out anything and say, hey, or ask questions, um, feel free to do that. Okay. So... All right, so these, these lovely things here that I have, um, canvases are from a family member that just gifted them to me. So, so we're gonna do this. I'm gonna undo them, and um, thank you, Christine for gifting these to me. I super appreciate it. It was the first time we ever met each other in person at a family reunion. And I didn't know, I had no idea how many artists were in my family until, until that family reunion, other than, you know, my dad and my uncle. So, what I'm doing here for paint pours is because there's a lot of drippage when you're paint when you're doing these, um, I set things up on cups so that you can easily pick up your canvas. It, it'll stick to a surface if not, and you can you know dance it around like this. And I'm going to do two. Because so much trippage, it happens that, hey, you might as well catch some of it and maybe a great painting, another painting will turn out too from the remnant of it. And actually, I did that one time. And um, I created a painting called Prosperity. And then Prosperity had so much extra paint coming off of it that I created its um, remnant. And... It's, that one is still on my page for sale, and it's called The Remnant Prosperity has already been sold. And don't you know that God always gives more than enough? He has plenty to give. He always leaves a remnant. So that's what happened with that one, with that painting. All right, so hopefully you can see this. Um, on the back of this other canvas that I'm going to be painting on. I see the feed might be a little bit slow. Um, anyway, I put these thumbtacks and I just stuck them in the wood because then it'll just help it sit up like, like so. And then when the painting's done and it's dry, I can take it out. Um, so, okay, so what I'm going to do is mix up the different colors. I already did some earlier today. Like I have a white and uh, some purples and blues, but I think what I wanna try to do is some sort of uh, wave, something like that. And you never know how these are gonna turn out. Sometimes they don't turn out so hot and that's okay. No big deal, let it dry paint over it or try to fix what you already have. Um, I like this color blue. I actually like Lucas Krill um, paints. I love their colors. Um, and I also, you know, I also like other things like Master's Touch and things like that. Now you can buy paint that's already called Flow Paint or um, Paint Pouring. 
you know, you can find that in places, but I mix my own and I want to show you how you can do that. So I'm just going to put a little bit, put a little bit of the paint in there and about equal amounts of this stuff called Flood Flow Troll. I don't even know if you can see this. This thing is so big, but you don't have to buy them this big. Um, definitely not they come in much smaller areas and that's also on my resources page on my website all right so it pours out fast and let's see uh you can use like you know if you have kids just save your save these things to mix things up And just mix it all up really good. Whoops, no big deal. All right. Mix that really, really good. All right, so that's one color. I want to get multiple different blues in there. I want to get um, some of this other blue and this is like artist loft I have a big plethora of these different brands it doesn't really matter What you want to do is get it in a cons consistency that it just kind of show you it just easily drips off of the wooden stick. You see how it just flows? It just drips easy. That's going to make the colors um, pour really nicely together. Just like that. And I want to put this here. And I have, let's see. Let's get a darker. Let's make it darker. A darker version of the blue. I'll pour a little of this. This is a little bit of purple I already mixed up earlier. I don't know if there's a way for me to see who's watching. I see that there's three people watching. I have no idea who you are, but um, thank you for tuning in. And I hope this is um, really helpful to you, useful in any way. Um, the flow troll can make the colors get lighter than what they were originally. So you might want to take that into consideration if you had a sp specific color in mind that you wanted to do. This is super thick, this one. Um, you can also add in a little bit of water if you need to, to make it flow better into the paint. Okay, that's darker now. All right, we got a lot of different blues here. Uh, we got whites. And something that I really, really like is this pearlescent mixing medium. There's a lot of different companies that sell this. So you don't have to buy the one that says Sergeant Art that I have here but it has like a nice shine and it's it's like iridescent. I just really like that. Especially if you're walk, working with, you know, the water, it could be fun. Okay, so 
what you want to do next is coat your canvas and get that off. Actually, before you coat your canvas, um, I want to show you this. This is not necessary. It's just optional. It's um, treadmill lubricant, 100% silicone. And if you don't have this, you know, I've used WD-40 in its place. And you can use, um, there's this like hair stuff. It's like coconut milk hair or something. And I think that contains silicone. Um, whatever contains silicone. And what this does is, is it creates things that are called cells. And literally, it looks like a cell when you're in your paint. And it, it forms like pockets of color and stuff. And that's really cool. It's a cool effect. So you don't have to do this, but I like to do them on some of them. And I think I'm going to add one to two drops in each of the colors that I just showed you. We mixed up. It could give it a really nice effect for the water. Okay. And then you want to mix all that again. With the popsicle stick. All right. Next step. You want to coat this whole canvas with a color like, I don't know, white or um, black or whatever you want your, your main background to be. By the way, the flood is really great to use, but if you don't have it, that's okay. I have also used in the past when I was first trying this is Elmer's White School Glue. It's not going to be as good, but you can use that. Just water it down a little bit and it can be used in its place. So you just pour it on in a way that you cover the whole canvas area. This is the easy version of a paint pour. There's many different ways you can do paint pours to make them really cool. Like that one picture you saw today that I posted that I did with my son. <clears throat> that took multiple steps. And you can spread it out. Just like that. Just make sure I coat it really, really good. And it'll drip over the sides and that's fine because it'll give it a finished look as well if you have the, all the sides covered. That way, if you ever do want to sell these, someone wants to hang on their wall, you do not have to frame it. It'll look nice, but they could also choose to frame it if they so desire. All right, so. <clears throat> I hope this looks all right, but we'll see how it turns out. I'm going to take this first blue. Um, it's the darkest one. And I'm just going to kind of do a sweeping motion. I'm just going to lay it on over here. And like, shoop, like that. And then I'll take the next blue. And I'm just gonna lay it on top. And I'm gonna take this lighter blue and do the same thing. And then, I mean, if you wanna not use this spatula, which I'm gonna use next, you could just do this. You just move it around. It's all you do with a paint pour. It's all you need to do. But 
I kind of want to move this around like this and I want to show you the you can see um, actually it's really cool so now here's the cells starting to form already and I don't know if you can see that hopefully you can I need to turn it this way I think and I'm gonna take my little spatula thing see And if you don't want some of that blue, you can either just, I think you can probably just swipe it up like this. Or you can add more white on there. I think I'm gonna add in like a teeny bit of this yellow as if like the sun came into it a little bit. A little bit of orange. I don't want to do too much. And you can even blow on them to get more effect. I have um, straws, you know. So if you can see, I got like a little bit of blue here and I may not want that. So, um, it's like the pearlescent. I just used the pearlescent medium. I'm gonna clean it up a little bit here. Okay, so 
that's really all you need to do with that. And um, you can see that it created a whole other painting underneath. Isn't that cool? So one's done, and then you can just go in and do whatever you want on the next one. Then you got two paintings, and you don't waste as much. You're gonna have a little bit of drippage with this one, but um, how about that? All right, so before we close out for the night, I wanna tell you about something really fantastic, something super that you will probably like, is that if you go to my gallery page and you check out the available paintings, on there you will see that I have listed every painting as um, priceless art, priceless painting. So that means that everything on there is available for a price that you set. There are prices on there as if, you, you know, in case you wanna pay what the going price is for it. But then if not, you can choose. And um, I do this, I did this because, you know, this is a, a business, but it's also a ministry. I mean, you know, art ministers to people in all kinds of ways. And some people can't pay $1,000 for a painting. And I think that everyone should be able to have artwork in their home that sets an atmosphere of um, peace or brings healing to them or, you know, whatever it is. Um, so go on there, check out what's available and, and, um, enjoy. So this paint pour ended up looking a little bit like a fish and that's pretty cool. I think that I'm going to like add in a little tiny eyeball or something right there with this orange. I think I'm gonna do that. I wanted to like outline this fin a little bit. Well, I hope you guys learned something. Um, Feel free to send me messages or write me questions. Um, I think that I may put together some sort of tutorial on these, like as a package all together. So, you know, let me know if you think that's a good idea, if this is something you'd like to know more about. There's definitely other techniques for this paint pouring. All right. Love you all. Have a great day. Be safe. Be healthy. May God bless you and keep you and um, peace upon you. Thanks for watching.